Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, we are fresh off the plane from Paris. We hit the ground running. We're back in New York City for a few days and I have a ton of events, so I'm taking you guys with me. We literally hit the ground running earlier this morning. I went to an event at the Amman Hotel. Now look, if you know luxury hotels, you know the Amman is the one and not the two. I've always wanted to go to the one here in New York City on Fifth Avenue. And I finally got the invite from Noble Panacea Skincare today. They had an event on their terrace on the 14th floor. It was amazing you guys so of course I'm gonna rewind it back and take you guys with me and then we will come back here I will share my look because we're about to head to dinner with makeup by Mario like blessings on blessings on me like the invites are coming through you guys the invites are coming through the events are coming through and I have a very busy March it's gonna be fun we're gonna be out we're gonna be socializing so I'm definitely gonna need to uh, make sure I'm resting so that I have more than three hours of social interaction in me for the month of March because we outside we outside outside and it's gonna be fun um, so without further ado let me rewind it back and take you all with me earlier today to the noble panacea noble panacea event they do scientific skincare which look it's amazing they had a dermatologist speaking there a sleep specialist it was amazing so let me rewind it back take you guys with me there and then we'll come back here discuss the look and head to dinner with makeup by mario and just like that we are back in harlem um i am dressed and ready a quick daytime look because i'm heading to an event at the amman hotel i've always wanted to go to amman here in new york city um and so i'm so happy to be invited to an event there with noble panacea skincare um chronobiology they do a lot of skincare products that work overnight um and they're coming out with a new overnight peel so it's like a peel for your face overnight and it combines you know skincare and science and so i was invited for a chat um about sleep cycles about your sleep health about taking care of your skin while sleeping and also we're going to do a meditation after at amon terrace so i'm going to take you guys with me naturally uh, i did a super everyday quick beat on the lip is dior rose glow oil in rosewood i'll link it i have on my local european huggy earrings my everyday jewelry um, here is my Tiffany ring. I get asked a lot about this nail ring. This is from Cartier and I just wear it on my thumb. I have a Tiffany bracelet, a Cartier bracelet, um, and then a Cartier nail bracelet and a Cartier ring. And this is the little bracelet that is, um, I forgot it's a permanent bracelet that I got during Art Basel. So that's my everyday like jewelry. I'm wearing a Zara turtleneck and my Ray pants, my giant front pleat pants. And I'm gonna pop on my Chanel mules because it's about 50 something degrees and my YSL jacket. And we're gonna head down. They sent me an Uber coat, thank goodness, because the Ubers in New York do not play. They are very expensive. <laughs> so any brand who's sending me a coat, I'm using it and I'm thanking you. Uh, so yeah, very excited to go to a mine. Um, if you had never heard of the Amman Hotel, it's like a huge brand. It's beautiful. I think they're really known for minimalist or their minimalism. Like I know that there's one um, Amangari. They have an Amman in Morocco. They're all over, but the one here in New York City is so beautiful. Um, and they're building up one in Miami Beach, like not too far from my house. And I'm so excited. I think it'll be done in 2025 or 2026. Anywho, we're gonna go there. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna learn about some skincare and then we will come back here because I have another event tonight, which is, what is it? Oh, it's a dinner with Makeup by Mario. So I'm gonna show you guys the full look and we're gonna head out. I think my appointment is at 11.30. So excited. Let's do it. All right, guys, hopefully you can see me, but we went with the full all black look, Zara top 
a YSL jacket. I'll link a few dupes down below. The pants are Ray. They are the giant front pleat trousers. I also have these in white that I wore during Paris Fashion Week. And then my Chanel pearl mules. Um, I'm gonna grab my Bottega Jody bag and that's the look for today. event and it was really cool it was at the Amman hotel which was gorgeous I would really love to stay there one day um, it was on their terrace and they had snacks they had coffee um, they had a dermatologist there as well as a sleep specialist to talk more about the noble panacea um, chronobiology, chronobiology uh, chemical peel so what this is, and I took a ton of notes, it's a chemical peel that you do at night. It's more like a moisturizer. First you cleanse your skin, and then you put this on, and then you put on your favorite moisturizer and you go to sleep. And what it does from, let's say between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m., it's basically detoxing your skin with AHAs, um, which helps to clear your skin, helps with clearing uh, your complexion, and there are five different types of like AHAs, chemical exfoliants, and they help with luminosity, dewiness. There's glycolic acid, lactic acid, um, salicylic acid, um, and I think mandelic acid, which helps with pigmentation. And so for four hours or like five hours, that's all it's doing. It's really just clearing your skin and really getting down into those epidermal layers. And then they said from about 4 a.m. on, sorry about the beeping that's outside, um, it is a ingredient that helps to soothe and calm the skin because you guys know a chemical peel, and when I say chemical, I just mean the AHAs. Um, sometimes it can irritate your skin, and so the last few hours of the treatment while you're sleeping is to soothe those things, but this is very gentle. You could do it once a week. And I just think it's so cool. Um, and I'm, they sent us home with the system. And so I'm going to be able to use it during this, this vlog. I, it's been a minute since I've done a chemical pill, to be honest. Um, it's clean. It's vegan, I believe. Um, yeah. And I am 
for real they also gave us some overnight recharge cream cool and then we have the exceptional and they call it exceptional because their exceptional line is a line of products that you do not need to use every day the ingredients in here are really potent so you only need to do it like once a week just however you would normally often do a chemical peel and also if you're using any kind of retinol in your skincare treatment you want to wait a day before using this uh, because it can be ir an irritant but this is the treatment for nighttime we're going to go over that maybe i'll do it tomorrow night and then we'll follow up with this because i think this is a moisturizer an overnight recharge cream and what else do we have in here we have the octo brush I don't know what that does, but elevate your facial skincare ritual for a truly expert and indulgent experience. And that's all we have. There's something in here too, which I think is a gua sha. Oh no, the dose opener. Oh, you use this to open your dose for the chemical peel. But I'll show this to you guys more in depth when we do it tomorrow night. But such a great event. And I also learned more about like sleep cycles and making sure you're getting enough sleep. It was just very informative and very interesting. So shout out to the team for inviting me. And I'm looking forward to using this so you guys can see the results. Although my skin has been skinny. The skin is skinny. I've been drinking my water. Um, I kind of fell off the bandwagon with my diet while I was in Paris, but also there aren't many preservatives in Parisian food, so I didn't really gain any weight, and I didn't have many breakouts, so I'm feeling really good about my skin. Um, Alright guys, that is it. We are going to take it back, and I think we are going to get ready to head to the Makeup by Mario event tonight. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed coming with me to that event at the Amman. It's stunning. I really have to try and stay there one day. It's so expensive, but like, it's gorgeous in there. Did you see the fireplaces? Um, and I'm really looking forward to using my Noble Panacea Chronobiologic Chemical Peel. Um, I'm probably going to do it tomorrow night uh, because tonight I'm going to be getting in late from the event. And yeah, I'm going to do a, like a before and after for you guys. And we're going to do a first impressions because it's been a minute since I've done like an at home chemical peel. But the chemicals, the properties in this one, they're very, very mild, um, but they work. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, I'll let you guys into how it works, especially on brown skin. We'll see. Uh, so I'm about to head to dinner at I think the restaurant is called Zero. Um, it's downtown in New York City with Makeup by Mario. I believe they are releasing a new palette for the eyes. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I'm actually wearing Makeup by Mario lipstick. It's uh, their red. It's called Tribeca. Which I feel like it's fitting because I don't know if the restaurant is in Tribeca. But I know it's close to it. So that should be fun. Um, and I think he's actually going to be there. Which is, oh, so I really try hard on my makeup <laughs> tonight um yeah we'll we'll see how it goes but i've heard he's very very nice and i had a wonderful time getting my makeup done during new york fashion week by some of their makeup artists so yeah i'm wearing this sir the label dress you guys know one of my favorites it's like a brown silk and lace i took this to paris for paris fashion week but i didn't have the opportunity to wear it so i thought why not tonight i have on my mesh YSL pumps very sexy there's a dupe of these at Zara that I'll link down below hopefully they're still available I'm gonna throw on my YSL coat my YSL clutch um, and we are out of here my fragrance of the night is of course Jennifer Lopez promise it smells very pretty I always get compliments and anytime I need to make a great first impression I'm gonna wear Jennifer Lopez promise okay because it smells good all right, I'll show you guys the full look and we are out of here.
to sort of have this reminiscent vibe of the 1990s that I love so much. There was a little bit of a grit in that era, a little bit of this living that was really inspired heavily by nature. I spent a lot of time in nature, and um, everything from slate limestone to tree bark to even my dog's hair color. Um, <laughs> morning everyone I am bare face skin and skinning I'm wearing this dress I get asked a lot about this because it's one of my favorite house dresses but this is a collaboration between Wolfert and numero 21 or number 21 uh, brand and I think it's still available at a few places so I'll link it I'm wearing a medium I'll also link a few of my favorite house dresses because y'all know I always wear house dresses around the house if you come to my house this is how you gonna find me because I usually don't wear like street clothes in my house I'm a germaphobe a tiny bit anywho last night was incredible I got to meet Mario of makeup by Mario and he's just so gracious and like fun and like kind and super just chill and really about his business and I really love how he champions diversity with all aspects of his business from advertising to social media to the people he collaborates with and i just i think it's awesome uh so they came out with a new neutrals palettes because of course you think about mario you think about neutrals um and the palette is great for all skin tones and they gifted it to us with our own names on it which is really cool um i saw a few of the girlies last night any was there we were having such a great convo um any given Sunday on Instagram and I, I'm not sure if her TikTok is the same but she's mostly based on uh, beauty but she does quite a bit of lifestyle travel home decor her setups for all the events that she has or that she hosts like her um, Galentine's and she's always hosting something fun at her house the way she sets up her like place is mind-blowing like she needs her own line uh, but she's a fashion girly too. She always does get ready with me's and her content is just impeccable So definitely check out any on uh, Instagram any given Sunday I'll put her at here or it'll be in the description box But yeah, we had a great conversation and it was just nice seeing everyone and eating the food at Zero bond was delicious and I also enjoyed the chicken 
and like the roasted vegetables everything was delicious so yeah highly recommend that restaurant super sexy and cool uh and that was great i do have a gift bag so i'll quickly run through and show you guys what i got in the gift bag but i need to eat shower and head to my first event for today which is a fireside chat with harlem's fashion road a uh, brandis daniel y'all know i love brandis she's amazing she's done incredible things for black and brown designers at harlem's fashion road and uh she's having a fireside chat with naomi campbell for her new like a boss hugo boss line um which is already in stores at bloomingdale's i saw it when i was last here in new york uh for my getting ready for paris vlog so yeah that should be fun it's at the guggenheim so your girl is gonna boss herself up because that's the thing and we are gonna go listen to a chat with naomi campbell and Brandis Daniel really excited like Brandis is killing it if you've never heard of Harlem's Fashion Row definitely check them out on Instagram uh, you will not be disappointed and you will learn of lots of new up-and-coming and established black owned businesses and designers all right so let's get ready for the chat hi guys I wanted to do a quick chat while I get ready for the Naomi Campbell Harlem's Fashion Row Fireside Chat at the Guggenheim. Um, it's been so long since I've been to the Guggenheim. Um, I just did my, the way I twist my hair up into these little space buns at night. So I have wavy hair. I don't think I'm going to do too much curling. We'll see. Because my leave out is looking nuts. Don't worry y'all. I'm getting my hair done when I get back to Miami. I'm going to take this out. Cause it's already been in way longer than I anticipated. I was actually gonna get my hair in a different style for Paris. I was gonna do short hair with a fringe bang, like something completely just different. But I enjoyed this hair so much that I just kept it after New York for Paris. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm over <laughs> I'm over it now because it's basically like doing my hair every day. I have to curl it. So. Uh, yeah i think we're gonna just go back to my natural hair for probably a week or so and then we'll try the shorter hairstyle because it's hot in miami and i cannot do this style or any type of leave out style in miami because the humidity will just crush it to dust um, but i wanted to come on and talk a bit about fashion month now that it's over <clears throat> we're in march now and more than fashion month i also want to talk about black history month now i've been hearing rumblings and grumblings and seeing a little bit of people like talking about this on their stories maybe a bit on TikTok, a little bit in written word like on essence um was it no it was either essence magazine or the cut that did a story about diversity equity and inclusion um this past black history month and how it's just gone <laughs> I mean, I laugh about it, but I've noticed it even within the fashion industry. I have noticed it quite a bit. Um, I believe uh, someone stepped down at the CFDA. Uh, that was odd. I've noticed lots of um, diversity and inclusion departments being completely shut down by brands and firms and all of these people were like hired to usher in change, especially after George George Floyd and uh, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020, 2021. Um, and it just, it's gone. <laughs> like, what happened to the diversity? Like, as swiftly as it came in, it's like gone. And I feel like a lot of it was performative. People, brands were shamed into caring about black people and you know put up black squares of solidarity and you know try to include black people in their ads who they hire and then it's, it's just completely gone by the wayside in 2024 like this was one of the most quietest black history months ever since the pandemic for sure honestly i don't even think i you know what i haven't i did not get one black history month related campaign this year and this is the first time this is the first time I've never gotten a campaign um, to highlight Black History Month or Black designers or, or a Black business or with that intention, you know, outside of a brand that isn't Black owned. And that was just crazy. It's pretty disheartening how 
quickly things have deteriorated and it's not just in regards to like diversity but also inclusion um the fashion industry was i mean booming with size inclusion you know two three years ago brands were extending their ranges even luxury brands were extending ranges um putting plus size models on the runway in their ads and although that has kind of stuck around it's kind of trickled down to a, a handful of models that are successful and the the ranges in the clothing has like ceased to exist um and plus size women are having a hard time finding like even mid-tier and luxury that fits them even places like zara h&m all of these places that said they were gonna make a change and might have did a little something something and did it and it's just it's like we're just going backwards and it's a little bit scary and i have noticed it in fashion weeks too even the events that they have in fashion weeks go back and watch my past fashion week videos straight out of the pandemic Look at the people in the crowds at the shows. Look, in, look at the people in the front row, or even in the second row, at the shows. Look at the people at the events during fashion week. Look at how they look, okay? And then go and watch my videos this year, 2024, New York and Paris. Look at the front rows, and not even in my videos. You can go on YouTube, you can go on Instagram, you can go on a brand's page. Look at their shows, look at who's in front row, look at who's in second row. Look at all of the events that happened during New York Fashion Week, during Paris Fashion Week. Look at the crowds, Who who's there? Now I've noticed it, and a lot of people are picking up what I'm putting down, because they've noticed it too. Um, New York was super quiet for Fashion Week in regards to diversity and inclusion. <laughs> I mean, quiet. It was, it was, I could hear a pin drop in the city that never sleeps. And so there is a change, there is a shift. Brands are like, we don't gotta do this no more. No one's holding us accountable. We're closing down these departments. If we don't have to care, we're not gonna care. And it's just fueled a fire for me to create my own thing. Um, create my own brands, create my own clothes, um support black owned businesses any chance that i get not just black history month if you watch any video every video that i do i'm gonna tell you a black owned business every video i defy you to go back and find where, where i don't mention a black video or a, a, where i don't mention a black owned brand or a black designer because if we don't champion our own people nobody else gonna do it I mean, I'm just going to be 100%. And so that's why I make it my business to always tell, like I know a lot of people are like, why do you always say that this is black owned? Because I need to say it. I, it needs to be vocalized and heard. Um, and also I know my impact in that I can, I can put somebody on. I can help a small business, whether it's a black owned business or not. Um, and so I just like to support because I am a black owned business myself. You watching this channel, you're supporting a black owned business. <laughs> you know, I'm a full time content creator. I am the product. You're supporting me. You're supporting my clothing line with Sanji. Any collaborations I do, like my hoop mile collaboration, my Amazon drop, like you're supporting me. And so I just, I feel like that's my purpose is to help and to highlight and to inspire. Uh, but now I feel like even with luxury, it's so hard to break into luxury as a luxury influencer. Not that I consider myself that. I'm pretty well-rounded. I don't just refer to myself as a luxury person. Um, I do beauty. I do travel. I do lifestyle. Um, I do low-end. I do high-end. I do all the things. But I am in that category, being that I shop those places and I show those things. And luxury is not for black women. I mean, I'm just, I'm just not luxury, but luxury brands as a black influencer you're you're not getting in <laughs> like you're you're not getting invited to the shows you're not being dressed you're not sitting front row of the top tier luxury unless you have an in unless you have a um pr company that you're with that has a connection or a relation and a tip for tat and it's kind of disheartening really it makes me kind of want to just do my own thing which is why I'm kind of changing the direction of how I approach luxury design and fashion week from now on um, because they don't want me there. <laughs> they don't want me there. They don't want your faves there. 
if they are definitely not inviting your faves they're not inviting me um they're inviting the same people every season um and that's what it is they'll give you a check they but they won't invite you so i have to change my strategy and i hope you're reading between the lines because in the fashion industry you just you gotta stay 10 toes down okay uh so that's all i wanted to talk about and let me know if you have noticed the same thing i don't feel like that was a rant it's just something i noticed and i'm definitely gonna write about it because it deserves a conversation all right i'm gonna use my new makeup on my makeup by mario palette the masters matte neutrals for my look today but i need to hurry up because i'm already <laughs> running late all right i have one hour to get myself ready and I need to do my hair and my makeup but what do you guys think <sighs> I'm telling you now like things are going backwards and I implore you if you want to be in this industry to create your own path to make your own table and not to wait for anyone to give you a seat because that day may never come all right guys still getting myself together but I use the masters matte neutrals palette on my eyes and i love it let me show you which two colors i blended i went with this brown all over the lid and then kind of defined a little bit with this on the lids and then i used the makeup by mario super black eyeliner amazing i also it goes on so smooth you guys know i have to be very careful with my eye pencils because i have very sensitive eyes and it can irritate no irritation whatsoever i also love that one end has a little brush so you can kind of smoke it out if you want but it's super black goes on super smooth new favorite eye pencil it's between this one and laura mercier that i've been using but i also for my cat eye use the makeup by mario uh masters matte liquid liner in super black let me tell you if you have a hard time with your cat eye this is great because this pen is stiff and it gives you exactly what you want uh sorry about the sirens but we are in harlem just wanted to clean it up a tiny bit i didn't mean to go so dark on the eyes for a daytime event but this is what we're working with all right i'm gonna finish up get ready and we'll head out all right guys got myself together and i am ready to head out i'm going to show you my outfit but i am definitely loving the new neutrals palette from makeup by mario on the eyes i'm also loving the liquid liner and the eye um the eyeliner pencil so good just finished off the look with a little bit of hbic fenty and a little fenty powder as well uh, but we are heading out I dress in my most like a boss outfit since this fireside chat at the Guggenheim um, with Harlem's fa fashion row Brandis Daniel and Naomi Campbell is all about Naomi Campbell's new line with Hugo Boss. Um, so yeah, I feel very chic. I'll show you guys the look. But today's fragrance is Kaysen Nudism. I've talked about this fragrance a lot. It was only available in like the UK for a while, but now they are shipping to the US. Nudism is my favorite one, okay? I will link it down below. It smells like a trifecta of vanillas with a little bit of spice. It's a beautiful fragrance. It almost like smells like you can need it. And I told you guys I'm trying to get back to fragrances that are more feminine, and I believe this one is a more feminine scent even though it's unisex so love this definitely check out casein they're pretty new when it comes to the fragrance industry and i think you guys will love it all right i'll show you guys the look and then we will head to the guggenheim let's get dressed for a fashion event i want to dress like a boss you'll understand why when you see where i'm going so i'm wearing this maximo duty sheer turtleneck top and i have my favorite maiden form bra underneath uh, the skirt is from Dries. We're going with YSL mesh pumps, very chic. We're going with my favorite leather jacket at the moment from YSL. For the bag, we're going with this Bottega Jody bag. And fragrance of the day, Nudism by Kaysen. And that's my Like a Boss look for today.
for being here for this incredible celebration. This is not just a significant milestone, which is we're so excited about, which is the launch of Naomi Campbell's collection with Boss, sold exclusively at Bloomingdale's, but this is also a celebration of the resilience and brilliance of women all over the world who are going to Be your own boss as a woman, yes. Confidence, strength, determination, but it's also taking care of yourself from the inside out. I think it's, um, you know, for stress, for well-being, for um, pressure on the body, especially when you're in the air like four times a week. You need to think of these things. Now, this is my last question to you. Um, as someone who has built a successful career in various industries, what advice, because we have some students in the room, uh, what advice would you give to others looking to become their own boss? Keep being bossy, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, actually, but no, I am bossy, but I'm bossy, really, I'm bossy in the kitchen, and um, I'm not I won't say I put myself in the chef position, but I'll become the chef position, make the chef position be my sous chef. But <laughs> no, um, I think really it's my three Ds, which is what's my logo on the back of my hoodies, is determination, dedication, and drive. That really is it. And it's it has its up and down, you just have to stick to the dedication part and know that not not to give up. It was great. The fireside chat with Brandis and Naomi. It was wonderful. Like, I feel like I got some insight into her collection with Boss, the inspiration behind it, just being comfortable and being a boss and being able to travel and look nice and everything be comfortable. Also, she has these compression leggings with a front slit that are chef's kiss you guys know i love a good legging so i'm gonna have to get those from the boss collection but it was great and i'm really so proud of brandis and i'm so happy for her because she has been championing championing harlem's fashion road for 17 years um her own blood her own money her own sweat her own tears putting on black designers getting uh funding for them getting scholarships for them um making sure that we are a priority in the fashion industry especially here in new york city and it's been a long time coming and she has put in a lot of work um and i'm just so happy that things are working out and going very well for her and also all of the designers that she supports and gets these scholarships for one of which being Naomi Campbell's collaboration with Boss. Um, a bit of those proceeds are going to Icon 360, which helps to fund up and coming black talent, giving them um, scholarships so that they can do all the things they need to do to get their businesses off the ground. I mean, it's really hard for black businesses to get funding, to get angel investors, to get the seed money, to get their ideas and their designs out there to the world. And Brandis is making that possible. And shout out to Naomi for partnering with her to donate to that incredible cause. So I'm even more 
like obsessed with spending my money on this collection because I know it's going back into the pockets of black creatives. So amazing. Um, also saw my girl Sam there, Sammy B, Samantha Black. A uh, little tidbit, I think she has a collection dropping sometime in March. So stay tuned, you guys know I love Sammy B. I have one, I have like two of her dresses. Um, I have her butterfly top, she's great. So if you never heard of Sammy B, uh, check her out, Samantha Black on Instagram. I believe she was on Project Runway as well. That's how her, so, her and Sanji know each other. Uh, but yeah, incredible uh, Jamaican designer, love her. We were seatmates. And I also ran into uh, quite a few friends, so it was wonderful. I saw Annie again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had a great event. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day packing. It's about two o'clock now. My flight to Miami is super early. It's at 7 a.m. I love the 7 a.m. flight because I am in my home by 10.30. By 10.30, 11 a.m., I'm in my home. I'm unpacked and I have the whole day to feel like I you know, can do some work and do some things. So tomorrow I'm meeting up with my ShopBot fam and we're having lunch at Esme, one of my favorite hotels in Miami Beach. So I just wanna be prepared for my lunch tomorrow as soon as I touch down. I think I'm gonna vlog that and then we'll end out this vlog and I think we're gonna do the What I Bought in Paris vlog for y'all because I know y'all. <laughs> I know y'all are waiting to see the pieces because I'm also waiting because I can't unpack them until I film this video. So yeah wonderful how long have i been in new york 72 hours i got here tuesday today is thursday yeah about mm, not even 72 hours like 50 something hours in new york city and we already did <laughs> a makeup by mario event a naomi campbell event with harlem's fashion row um an event with noble panacea skincare and i might go to an opening tonight at four seasons but we we not sure i don't know I'm not gonna put that out there because I'm just not sure if I have an Emmy to do one more thing. Uh, <laughs> all right, you guys, I will check in with you when we are back in Miami. Like we never left, we are back in Miami. It is gorgeous. I took the first flight out of New York so that I have the whole day. As soon as I got in, I unpacked because I'm very type A. And then I went for a bike ride because it was just stunning. And your girl hasn't done some exercise in about a week and I feel gross. So I needed to get out on my bike, see the water, the palm trees, feel the sun on me. And I feel so good. Yeah, speaking of biking, I often get questions about me linking my bike or asking specifically what kind of bike I have. And you guys, that's not how biking works. That's not how cycling works. You need to go to your local bike store, bike shop. You need to test out bikes. You need to get a bike for your height. You need to get a bike for your weight. You need to get a bike for where you're going to be riding, what kind of terrain. Are you doing boardwalk? Are you doing road? Are you doing dirt? Are you doing hybrid? All of those things matter. So I never give anyone the direct link to my bike because just because it's comfortable and works well for me, doesn't mean it'll be great for you. So that's what I recommend for any of you looking to bike. I'm never gonna <laughs> give anyone the link to my bike because it will be doing a disservice to you to just go and buy a generic bike that's meant for me, for my height, for my weight, and not for you. So yeah, if you wanna take up biking, go to your local bike store. You'll learn everything you need to know there. But I got myself dressed and ready after my ride. 
um soft waves i did just a regular beat i have on my favorite dior y'all know rosewood lip glow oil um and i'm about to head to lunch at the standard hotel i have some people in from shop bop you guys know i love shop bop i used to work with them quite a bit at the not i don't, don't want to say beginning of my career but i was doing a lot more with them previously but they're in town i believe they're celebrating an anniversary and they invited me to lunch so i'm gonna go hang with the shop bop team at the standard and have lunch so this is my look i'm wearing my favorite norma kamali bodysuit i know it looks like a shirt but it's actually a bodysuit with like underwear down here um it's my favorite so good so chic you can wear it with jeans as well and i paired it with this super old isolda skirt that i actually got from shop bop it has like little flowers and such on it it's mostly well it's supposed to be more like a sarong but i like to wear it as a skirt because it's it's fun you know it's giving spring love it this is super old so if i can find something similar i'll link it but i've had this for maybe like seven years <sighs> so we're gonna head out i'm going to wear my alaya sandals they're so fun and they're so easy to like walk in as well and i feel like they would set off this look anything super colorful with a little black i feel like these will go well and then i'm gonna wear my silver tiffany earrings to kind of bring out the silver in the shoes and then we're just gonna grab my bottega bag i think but i'll show you guys the full look and then we'll head to lunch with shop up Heading to lunch at the Standard, and this is my look of the day. I'm wearing this Norma Kamali bodysuit. It's one of my favorites. Everyone thinks it's a top, but it has underwear underneath. Amazing, I'm wearing a medium. The skirt is super old from Shop Bop. It's from the brand Isolda, but I feel like it's just so fun. Uh, the shoes are Alaya, new in. I have on my Tiffany earrings to kind of match the silver in the shoes. I think we're going to go with these and other story sunglasses best $30 I ever spent. Fragrance of the day is MFK Aqua Media. It's super fresh. Since we're gonna be by the pool outside in the sun in Miami, I'm happy about it. The bag, I'm gonna go with my Jody Bottega bag, and that's the look. restaurant called Lido. I've taken you guys there before. It's one of my favorites here on the beach. Um, and Clive Davis was there. It's always somebody at the standard. It's really cute. It was very nice uh, meeting with the girls from Shop Bop. They are coming up on their 25th anniversary and they're having a ton of things happening here. So they just wanted to meet with me. Hopefully I'll be working with them. And of course, I'm taking y'all to all of the events that are taking place for their 25th anniversary. I think you guys remember their 20th anniversary because I took you to it in a vlog. Um, I believe they dressed me and I was actually on their homepage on the website. And um, I think it was a Rachel Kami dress. Yeah, that was a moment. That was a moment in time. Sometimes I really forget how long I've been in the game and like how many cool things I've done over the years. Um, being a content creator and a blogger and just all the things that has happened from this amazing like hobby turned career. But yes, I am going to finish unpacking. 
I'm gonna get ready to film the What I Bought in Paris video for you guys. I also need to do a spring haul because I came back to about, no joke, 30 packages. <laughs> like, my living room is filled with packages. I have stuff from MCM. I have some new bags, like a lot of bags. Brands just wanna send me bags and I'm okay with that because bags are expensive. So I have a spring haul coming up. I'm gonna style the things for you guys too. And the What I Bought in Paris video as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not leave without giving your girl a thumbs up. Now, a lot of y'all be watching the videos, you be enjoying the content, you watch all the way to the end, but you don't give me a thumbs up. And I just wanna say why, why? Help your girl out, give me a thumbs up. The more thumbs up people see, the more apt they are to actually watch the video and get my views up. And hopefully, subscribe. And if you're new here, subscribe, okay? I have a giveaway coming up soon for something I bought from Paris. Um, it'll be in the what I bought in Paris vlog. It's not only going to be open to Instagram because I need to be able to DM you. And when that video goes up, I'm going to have you guys put your handle in the comments to enter. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. If you're new, Monroe Steel. There's a link to it in the description box and in my pinned comment. And yeah, I'm happy to be back in Miami, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the sun, the sun does something. I feel like as a black person, I'm meant to be where it's hot. Like I need to be where the sun is shining on my skin and it helps your girl feel better. You know, it just, it gives me happy vibes. I just feel refreshed and renewed. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about my rant <laughs> about it being a very quiet Black History Month. And if you've noticed that the brands are back to business as usual, post black squares and such you know we see what's happening here we are picking up what you all are putting down anywho let me know what you think let's have a great dialogue in the comments thumbs up subscribe click the notification bell so that you never miss a video everything you've seen in today's video every place i went in today's video is in the description bar make yourself a list so next time you come to miami or new york you know where to go and you know what to do. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching it. I appreciate you all. I'm a little tipsy because I did have a frosé. It was delicious. Get the frosé from Lido. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.